Well, arrived out at the property and uh, it is pretty overgrown. It's a, it's quite the mess. While I'm here, I'm just going to do a real quick trip down here to mow, get everything knocked down and cleaned up. But while I'm here, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing on the cabin. Anyway, welcome to my new HI. Well, just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit on my trip down to the property. It's a gorgeous trip all the way down across some Truman Lake here. This is in the central Missouri area. Uh, and, uh, we'll give you a few more glimpses of things along the way. You gotta love coming out to the country because you never know what you're gonna get out here. I tell you, every time I open this shed door, you never know. Sometimes it's snakes, sometimes it's rats and mice. Well, there's plenty of mosquitoes, I'll tell you that. As is the nature, sorry, it might be a little dark. That dark spot up on that rafter is a massive red wasp nest that is literally covered with red wasps. So they're coming in and out of that little crack over the door. I am going to do my best to aim small, hit small, and try to uh, take out said red wasp nest. So wish me luck. Hopefully this doesn't end up on YouTube as one of those never try this, you idiot, viral videos. So I'm probably going to spray and run. We'll see how this rolls. Anyway, wish me luck. Pretty good. I'm gonna step out now. Well, I survived that without any stings, so. <laughs> Sometimes it's wasps, and all the time it is spiders. So, all the time. Missouri is spider country. So, I still have red wasps humming in and out and around. So, I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes open, but I'm gonna try to get this other side door open. I don't wanna wrestle any red wasps. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find out here. I have disturbed a mother rat's nest. She has a baby on her teeth and one in her mouth that she was moving. I don't know if you can see them or not, but that's what's going on there. Quite sad. Sorry for you, little rat. Very, very sorry. Such is nature out here in the woods. I'm sorry, Mrs. Rat. Really a mouse. Probably saying, well, quit chasing the poor thing. All right, I'll quit chasing it. Like I said, you never know what you're going to find out here. This is where we're putting in the cabin. I've poured quite a few pilings already. Um, this one was the last one I poured. So you can see it's getting down below the frost line. I dug it deep enough to get below the frost line in uh, central Missouri. And um, it's going to be 36 by 20. 
two stories, two bedrooms, large living area, all open space on the bottom with a uh, covered porch, top and bottom stories. Um, the bedrooms walk out onto uh, an upper deck that will be covered and screened in. The lower deck will probably start right here at this piece of rebar that's driven in the ground. So that is my final corner to pour. And then we'll go up from there. I've got a couple of trees to remove still. And um, that's how it's gonna lay out. It's just a small cabin. So you can see here's a uh, the sawmill that I have back here. That's the motor and the blades all covered up. And then I've got a pile of logs ready to go onto the sawmill right here. Again, this has had a full summer of growing. So and these are all inventoried based on the size of log that I need. They roll right downhill, right onto the sawmill. I can do it by myself, and I have to cut these beams. And these are, again, these are big trees. You know, they're 18 to 20 inches in diameter. So that's it. Something has been wallowing around up in there. So among the little creatures that I found near here, a little fox turtle. Hello, buddy. He just was out. Probably right there in that little spot. He's a little muddy, too. But another creature that does bother me slightly, I'll have to ask my brother about this one, is uh, this worm of some sort. I'm going to guess that's probably 15 inches long. And that is a living animal, so there's nine, plus it's curled up. So there's my hand, give you some perspective. I don't know what that is. I did a little bit of research and found it was a horsehair worm or a Gordian worm because it looks like a Gordian knot, and uh, the proper name is a nematomorpha. Anyway, not dangerous to human or mammals. Well, the day is done, and... Uh... Some of the most memorable times that we've had have been around this campfire. So it's been a good day, been a great day. Anytime you can get out and uh, be in the woods is, is a fabulous time. So anyway, I'm enjoying the campfire. Getting ready to wash up a little bit and uh, climb in the tent and go to bed. So been a good night.